since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Hi there folks and welcome to Pixel Perfect's first video review. Today we're going to be talking about the first game from Vigil Studios teaming up with THQ, their game Darksiders. In Darksiders there are seven seals of the apocalypse that need to be broken before the Four Horsemen can be called to uh, negotiate the end war between Heaven, Hell, and the Kingdom of Man. And it looks like that might have happened, but the Kingdom of Man wasn't quite ready yet. This summons War, the first of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, into a game very similar to that of Zelda or Dante's Inferno, very hack and slash, lots of blood and guts and demons and all that kind of good stuff all happening all at the same time. So expect an experience full of using your X button to the fullest of its capacity. You'll notice a lot of elements from this game and elements from those games. Um, the hack and slash mechanic is stolen almost exactly from Dante's Inferno. As you can see here, the uh, ability to climb walls is stolen in the exact same fashion. So lots of homages are paid uh, to the teams that, that came before, as they say. Um, when you see War kill these guys, you're going to notice a uh, bee appear above their head. This is for Xbox 360 players, specifically. But that bee starts a instant kill feature, which can be used to get rid of the bad guy really quick and get you some souls really quick, too. Souls are the main currency in the game used to upgrade weapons and War and health and his other abilities, also straight out of Dante's Inferno. As far as the voice acting in the game is concerned, nothing really stands out, but there is a solid performance handed in by none other than Mark Hamill. Unfortunately, creativity is not his strong suit, as we only get to listen to him play the character the Watcher as if he was playing the character the Joker. Not that that's such a bad thing, but after a while it gets boring because you're supposed to summon the Watcher like Navi for help, and it never quite works out that way. It's pretty much pointless. Lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? <laughs> Going back to the fact that Darksiders borrows a lot of what it shows you from other games, you're going to notice a lot of the key weapons used to progress throughout the game are stolen from other games as well. The crossblade, which is seen here, is directly ripped out of the boomerang from The Legend of Zelda. Another weapon that you're going to find later on is the Power Fist. Uh, it's used to break up ice blocks in this game, but has been used in various other games for various other reasons over the course of video game history. These blocks behind War here will be shattered when he charges it up and slams it into the ground. A third weapon that you're going to notice has been borrowed from The Legend of Zelda is the famous hookshot. While you won't get to see it used here, it does pull you and swing you across blue objects and pull you directly into enemies so you can uh, pull off some cool moves. Last but not least is a weapon stolen from Portal of all choices, the Void Walker here. You can shoot one red portal and one blue portal and teleport yourself from one area to another throughout the game. Very interesting choice if you ask me. Overall, though, you're going to find that Darksiders is a very serviceable hack-and-slash clone. It's interesting, it's a little scary, it's got the blood and the guts to, to satisfy you, the enemies are creative, the boss fights are creative, and overall, it's just a fun experience. Not to mention the fact that Darksiders 2, which was on the cover of Game Informer this month, looks really interesting as well, and isn't just your typical uh, continuation of the story. It's actually taking place at the same time, but features War's brother Death, so we're very excited to see what Vigil and THQ will be bringing us for that title. In the meantime, just stay tuned to Pixel Perfect for more of these video-style reviews of various other games, game peripherals, and anything else that we decide to share with you. 
If you have any ideas, please feel free to email us at pixelperfectteam at gmail.com. And thanks for watching. This is Justin for Pixel Perfect signing out. Uh-huh.